G'day guys, just out on the rocks today, just gonna have a quick go for some squid, then have a flick for some salmon. Um, nice calm day, nearly high tide, water's still nice and blue, nice and clean. Here's the squid jig we'll be using, a three gram, um, little green and orange number, little go-to jig. My favorite by a long way, I have a thousand of these ones. All right, first cast. Get him out there. Hopefully there's a couple of squid hanging around. We'll see how we go, eh? Water's clean enough, nice and blue. Super calm. Light little nor'easter starting to come up. A couple of days before the full moon. Got our same little trusty lure today. Looking a bit worse for wear after the last few fishes, but We'll see how we go. Drag set reasonably firm. Let's get a couple of casts in, eh? Seems a little bit quiet out there. Here's before the full moon where the bite should be better in the afternoon before the full moon and better in the morning after the full moon. Full moon is not my favorite time of the month to fish, but when the conditions are this good, you just got to give it a go. Come down here today looking for a surf, but the swells dropped right off. Not much left, it's only maybe one metre, 1.2 metres. A few little ones around, but I'll have a quick fish instead and um, go for a quick swim and then Alright guys, we might just move over here a little bit more. It's a little bit quiet, haven't had a hit or any follows or seen any fish or seen any squid, so um, yeah. My general rule is fish for 15-20 minutes. If you don't have a hit or have a follow or see any fish, um, you might as well give up and come back later. Water still feels beautiful, nice and a little bit cooler than yesterday I think. Um, but super refreshing. Going to try in this little corner here. Last new moon, I got a dozen squid. Um, they should still be around feeding. Oh, got one. There you go, guys. I'll just back the drag off a little bit. There you go. Move to another spot. We've got one straight away. Um, just trying to find a good spot to land this squid. Might just swim him up here on a, a wave. We'll just find a little rock pool just to keep him in, keep him nice and alive and fresh until we're ready to go. When you're looking for a good squid spot, the best way to find one is just look where other people go squidding. Look on the rocks, look for some squid ink on the boat ramps or jetties, wharfs. Anywhere there's lights on at night time around the ocean, the, the bait fish will school up in those areas and squid will turn up to feed on those bait fish. Oh, look, there's another one coming in, following me lure. He's coming, got him. There we go, got another one, guys. 
Well, this one's not hooked very well, so hopefully I can keep him on. He's a bit smaller than that last one. Just back the drag off a little bit, just in case, because he's not hooked very well. We'll land him up in the same spot, I think. Squid number two. Let's get the jig out. I'd say when I see these bait fish running through the water, that's what they're running from, is the squid just sort of trying to stealth up on them and sneak up and grab them. They're not running really quick, but they're just sort of jumping out of the water and moving fast enough so a squid won't catch them. They're ambush predators, they're not the fastest moving predators in the ocean. Got great camouflage. They usually just try and stealth in like a bit of seaweed, grab the bait, or grab the fish. And um, yeah, once they got to hold it with those tentacles and the suckers, there's no getting away. Just keep an eye on the bait. So if we see the bait running anywhere, I don't know if you can pick it up on the camera. Um, yeah, if I can see the bait running, I'll put a cast in over there and I'd say that's where they're going to be. Oh, here comes another one. Oh, there's another little one just there. I'll just cast back out again. Let's hope he comes and grabs it. followed it all the way up and just he sort of come right up to the back of it and then didn't want to have a bar of it I don't know if there's a bit of squid ink or something still on there he's noticed it I'll give him a few more flicks on the water a couple more squid would be nice all right last cast and then we'll go clean the squid go for a swim Look at the water. It just looks beautiful, hey? I can't wait to go for a swim. Such a nice colour, so warm. 24, 25 degrees at the moment. Doesn't get much better than this round here. Oh well, it doesn't look like we're going to get any more squid. That's alright, not the end of the world, we got it. Oh hang on. I got, oh. Another one fell on it now. Got him, got another one. There's a third one guys. Not a monster. Similar size to the last one. I'm not sure what we're going to do with this one. Where are we going to bring him up? Not very confident about landing this one. Alright, guys, there's our third squid for the morning. That'll do it. What you want to do is just remove the head and guts. If you can get it out in one whole bit, it definitely makes it a lot easier. Okay. That little satchel just here, that's the ink sack. You don't really want to break that. What I normally do is just pull the head off. Save that for bait. Like I said, if you have a knife, it does make it a lot cleaner. So 
so the head will go for bait. The wings will go for bait. Roll your thumbs around the underside of the skin. That should all just peel off. Go down there for bait. We'll pull this little cartilage bone out of the back of the, the tube. Just like so. And what we want to try and do is turn it inside out. Just by sticking your finger in the end of the tube like so. Just forcing it up inside out. It's like rolling a sock up, I guess. There you go, there's a couple of little squid eggs. We're going to start laying some eggs soon. Probably on this next full moon or the full moon after. Looking at them, they're not ready to be laid yet. Yeah. Wash all the crap off in the salt water. Hey! <laughs> Clean them up. What I like to do is just give them a rub on the rocks. No better way to get that all that gunk off your squid. Just pulls off on a find a nice rough rock. These basalt rocks here. They're perfect. Just Pulls all that skin off. You can see that there come off. Cleans them up really well. A bit of concrete will do, rocks, whatever you can find. Just a quick rub. Any loose bit should just pull off. There's one tube ready to go. The head, the wings there, the bait. We'll do the other couple and then, yeah, get it over to we'll go for a swim. There you go guys, there's our three tubes ready to eat, not the biggest squids, but be tasty all the same. Might have you for lunch or something. Three squid heads ready for bait. 